One thing that I really recommend when you're going on your long rides is that there is something that is called the cramp buster. The cramp buster normally goes on your accelerator. So, and the other add-on to your accelerator would be a cruise control. So, cruise controls are really expensive uh, here in India. So, what you can do is you can either buy a, a throttle lock that works like a cruise control. In case it's uh, that is also even difficult to find a throttle control, uh, a throttle lock here in India. So, what I have done personally is that I was supposed to bring a throttle uh, lock, but uh, it's just that uh, I forgot to buy those. So, I found out another way how to. Uh, how to make your own it's a DIY DIY uh, make your own uh, throttle lock I'll show you in, in a bit and the Cramster I have actually ordered a cram cram buster online uh, there's a lot of uh, cram busters available on uh, Amazon for cheap money but the actual cram buster is the name of the company who has actually invented this cram buster that is quite expensive, uh, it might cost you about 2,500 Indian rupees. But uh, I've just ordered a cram buster online, I have not received it yet to give you a review on that. But as soon as I get that, I will definitely let you know that. Uh, might take another one more week to get that cram buster. Uh, I'll show you how the cram buster works. Uh, before that, I'll, I'll show you a picture of cram buster. Before that, I'll show you how the cruise control, how, how do I fix a cruise control on your bike. The cruise control uh, actually works as a, a throttle lock. So basically, your throttle, you throttle, and then it 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 actually jams your throttle a bit. But you can actually uh, reverse your throttle, but you will have to reverse it by yourself. So it will not automatically return back to its normal position. That's how you use a cruise uh, a throttle lock. So the throttle lock basically locks your throttle when you're on a highway. You can. Uh, you can actually uh, throttle lock your throttle at a particular speed that you want so you can take off your hands and your bike would uh, automatically ride uh, on that particular speed uh, not basically on that speed the throttle lock the speed varies on the road but it's just that your throttle you don't have to throttle always here and there so you just leave the throttle tight and then it will automatically blow i'll show you how the these are the throttle locks that i have uh, made by myself so see this is another throttle lock this is a washer that you can actually buy from uh, uh, any uh, of your pipe fitting shops this is another throttle lock uh, from a plastic that i've made this diameter is basically the the diameter of the uh, uh, the handle that you have so and then you will need an a lengthy like this uh, in order to fix this i'll show you how to fix the throttle lock and how it works let me go ahead and use, so let me tell you the advantages of this throttle lock as well as this throttle lock. I mean to say the white one and the black one. I felt the black one is a lot more easier to use and a lot more uh, useful. The white one is not really that useful. So I'll, I'll tell you why it is. See these throttle locks normally work on the friction of your uh, accelerator. And uh, I'll show you how to fix this throttle lock. Uh, the first thing you need to do is, the, this is the LNG that I was talking to you about. So you first of all unscrew these uh, vibration busters. So normally take these off, just turn this and then there you go. So this is, this is basically your uh, in a place where you put your vibration uh, buster. So there you go, this is the nut that you use for that and so let me show you the white one first so this is the white uh, throttle lock that I've uh, actually made so this actually fits in here if you can see that there you go so what you need to do is the biggest portion I've put it on the other side and then I'm just screwing this back in there you go so now tighten it to an extent that your throttle, see right now the throttle is tight. So now you loosen it a bit so the throttle works fine. Like how it, it used to be. Now the more you tighten it, the uh, friction holds the throttle tighter. So now if you turn, turn your throttle, it stays. There you go. But one disadvantage of having this white throttle uh, lockers, 
every time you throttle up and you release your throttle it tends to loosen this nut here and after a after a while what happens is see now it goes back to its normal position so that is the problem with this uh, white throttle buster now the black throttle buster doesn't have that problem because this is plastic and keeps uh, slipping on these uh, metal so the black one is much easier and uh, a little bit more effective i i do a, i did a drive with these uh, white uh, throttle uh, locks and uh, after a bit uh, like i said because of the vibration and everything it tends to loosen up where in the black ones they didn't have that problem so there you go so the black ones what you do is you can actually put the black ones over here like this on this position here and you just put this into it or you can put it on the other side like this whichever way you think uh, is con convenient there you go you put that in here there you go this is how normally a throttle lock if you buy it from uh, outside this is how it normally works uh, this is the, the the signs behind it technicalities so now you put it back in now you don't actually get to see it like the other white throttle uh, stopper this is uh, much neater and cleaner and now now if you turn your throttle this is working as usual now if you tighten it a bit more there you go so now your throttle is locked there you go so if you want to release your throttle you just turn it back and again you go this way there you go and you put it back it goes back now if you look at the difference when you're doing your throttle now with this washer you don't see this metal piece turning when this metal piece keeps moving that is when it loosens up so now if you look at it the metal piece does not turn wherein on the white one it kept turning so having this cruise control you can tighten it a bit more there you go so whichever throttle you want you can put it on that throttle uh, speed this uh, throttle lock it will be very useful to ride on a, on a highways and on big roads where you don't need to brake a lot so think about it this is very useful or if you really want to buy a throttle lock you can actually buy it from uh, online i could not find a lot of throttle lock here in india so that's the reason i thought of using this and it it worked for me so try these washers uh, first uh, don't go for the plastic ones so the plastic one if you make it on a plastic then it'll it like i said it keeps turning the uh, the shock dampers so make sure you do that use uh, very useful uh, when you're going on uh, long rides to tell you about the cram busters the cram busters that i was talking to you is about it's a it's a oval shaped uh, uh, clip that goes on your uh, throttle so i'll put the picture then you'll get to know what exactly i'm talking about the cram buster has a, a projected piece and an oval shaped piece over here so when you actually put your hand over here the cram buster supports your uh, your arm your wrist over here on this portion so it actually supports your uh, supports your uh, your, your uh, wrist so whenever you turn your uh, throttle you don't actually need to leave a lot of pressure on your fingers jamming your throttle so the, the buster stays over here and when you turn when you just push your buster down it will throttle so uh, if you're having a cramp buster you will not feel a lot of cramp uh, pain on your wrist that's why they call it cramp buster so you can go online there are a lot of videos of cramp busters you can check out that and amazon it's not very expensive 300 rupees or something but if you're really buying the original cramp buster that will cost you a lot of money so try so i have not actually like i said i have not got the cramp buster i've ordered it through amazon once i get it i'll let you know how that a uh, particular brand is so maybe you can actually go ahead and buy those if you really want to try that you don't need it on the other handle because uh, we are not throttling on the other handle so only in this handle you would need uh, a cram buster all right so this is the cram buster that i was talking about it's connect it's rolled on uh, the accelerator and then uh, that will support your wrist there you go you roll that on your accelerator and then it will not move. It will only move in the reverse direction. You can check online for more details.